Under the eyes of old grey stone, above a fire made of bone, I placed the cauldrons Ivan made, and thought about the plans I made. Maria and her host were there, with hope and worry in the air. Their queen was fairer than the sun, her beauty was a match for none. The Tsar and his people appeared with his hunchback and knotty beard. And filled with arrogance and pride, he looked upon his would-be bride. The board was laid, my pawns were set. Above my brow, I had no sweat. As we sat there, ready to start, Ivan arrived to do his part. You are here, blacksmith. What is that there? That ring. Give it to me. Here you go, Tsar. It will bring you luck when you need it. It is filled with magic. I feel lucky just by holding it in my hand. I am here, Maria Morevna. I have done as you wished. Now it is time for you to be my bride. It is said you are a great Tsar, and I know your blacksmith is a great man. But before we start, under the watchful eyes of the Greybeard Stone, you must pass the trial of fate. No trial can stand in my way. I am strong. I am young. I am the Tsar. I see all that, and I'm impressed. Now it's time to pass the test. The trial of fate before you stands. The Greybeard Stone has three demands. The strength of body of a bear, the youth of mind beyond compare, and just some luck, a little dash. It'll go quickly with a splash. To prove your worth, you'll need to dive in these three cauldrons and survive. The first is filled with boiling tears. If you're strong, you'll show no fears. The second boils with mother's milk, but for young minds, it feels like silk. The last is wine, as cold as ice, and with good luck, may feel quite nice. And when you're on the other side, you will take home this lovely bride. This trial of yours I will now take. I am the Tsar, and I am mighty. And when I'm on the other side, I will take home this lovely maiden. With his bad rhymes and giant pride, he tossed his shoes and staff aside. The Tsar was ready for the test. He raised the apple from his chest. Into the boiling tears he jumped, and we all waited with hearts clumped. Out he came, with strength tenfold, helped by the apple made of gold. Without a pause, he took the water and jumped into the milk of mother. As he came out, looking much younger, his eyes were sparkling with deep hunger. And as soon as he raised his arm, I saw the ring, the lucky charm. The icy wine would freeze him not, and all my efforts led to naught. The Tsar emerged, fair as the sun, his power now lesser to none. Maria would now be his thrall. The blacksmith's choice had doomed us all. The Tsar then turned and sent Ivan away from here, forever gone. So, in the end, Ivan was struck by his own choice. Not just bad luck. And so the story is complete. Let's go, my dears. It's time to eat.